Welcome to the travel experience, experience the Voyage Channel. I'm a travel adventurer based in Victoria, Canada. I do not edit any fo video footage, any photos, and I am not sponsored by any company or organization. My travel experience is as real as it is, and my goal is to share these experiences with the world. So let's go. On uh, this current review, I've actually had this for some time. This is the Elite Outer Outfitter Solutions EOS, as they're known. Elite Outfitter Solutions Titanium Wallet. Uh, there are different models of the Titanium wa Wallet. Uh, this is the highest model there is. This cost me <laughs> this Titanium Wallet and it you could get it with different uh, different finishes this titanium wallet I purchased for two hundred and fifty dollars of course when I speak of pricing on my channel I'm speaking strictly in Canadian currency um, this is actually how I carry it my cards are inside I this is a clip that they they say is a money clip I just use this to clip onto my ass pocket I keep the money folded inside uh, this will hold this will hold they say it'll hold up to 20 cards um, 20 cards would be very very thick uh, and I, I can't imagine it holding 20 cards really to be honest I don't think it would hold 20 cards I'd probably, I think it probably holds 16 but I, mean, I don't have 20 cards uh, on me to, to try it out. I actually just recently replaced uh, all of these on my trip uh, on my trip to Europe, my most recent trip to Europe. Uh, a couple of these uh, bands, these are these are little rubber bands. A couple of these actually broke, and so I ordered a new kit from uh, Elite Outfitter Solutions. Uh, and they sent me a new kit which had a tool to to loosen these nuts and the new uh, rubber bands now when I received the kit which I'll never purchase ever again uh, when I received the kit I realized how stupid I was now this is a standard Torx it's a standard Torx uh, nut so you could get a Torx bit and just undo these yourself and you don't just don't lose them you know, you don't have to, you know, just loosen them off, whatever. Don't ever lose these. These are completely uh, reusable. And you could get any of these uh, little rubber bands. These are just basically tiny little O-rings. You could get these at a plumbing store. So I, I purchased the kit for $30, which, like, again, came with um, a tool to loosen these, uh, these uh, I shouldn't say nuts. They're bolts. I, it came with a tool to loosen these bolts. Uh, it came with uh, 12, because there's six per side, and it also came with uh, all six of the uh, all six of these rubber bands. Um, I could, I'm sure I could purchase. I could have purchased the whole thing for less than twelve dollars at a local plumbing store. Uh, Elite Outfitter Solutions. Uh, purchasing from them I mean the product is fantastic but their customer service is it's a real pain in the ass the customer service is uh, it, it sucks I'll be straight it uh, it really sucks now uh, it's unfortunate because again they, they build a great product and they build a great product and uh, they're based uh, I can't remember but they're based in some small village just some small town in, in the United States um but the way that they're they're set up is is if you're not living in the united states if you're purchasing from anywhere out of the out of the united states and alaska and hawaii uh it's it's extremely difficult to order from them it's difficult to get a tracking number uh it's it's just it is a hassle you have to go through work I, i've had to contact um 
the owner of the company, his name is John, and, and I can't remember the, the customer service representative, can't remember what her name was. I had to contact them multiple multiple times just to get the the, uh, the replacement kit, which ended up being a waste of my, my money. And also when I first ordered this, I've had this since, uh, when did I get this? 20, 2020, I believe. I believe I had this since 2020, so three years. This has followed me across Canada from Victoria to St. John's and back. And this has tr followed me throughout my travels in Europe <laughs> through multiple countries. And it's, it's, a fanta it's fantastic. But again, dealing with Elite Outfitter Solutions, is a, it's a pain. If you're anywhere outside of the United States, just the process of ordering this and trying to get it shipped to your house and and paying for it and getting a tracking number and everything is, is like it is actually easier to purchase something off Amazon or eBay or Alibaba Express than it is to deal with Elite Outfitter Solutions. So that's the downside. Um, as you can see, there's some wear with the paint. Uh, the coating is uh, the coating is a Sarah coat coating. I believe it's baked on. It's not just spray painted, but it's baked almost like a powder coat. Uh, you can see where it is worn in some areas, and I'm not concerned about that. I mean, th like I said, this has traveled thousands and thousands of kilometers. It's traveled across Canada. It's traveled across all across Italy, Germany, Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. <clears throat> it's traveled many, many places. I mean, this is... Uh, it's, it's great. I am really, really itching to do a uh, review on my GoPro Hero 9 Black. I'm just waiting for a proper uh, mount so I could mount my uh, Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV and use that to record. Uh, my GoPro just shut down for a moment here because apparently it's getting too hot. and um it's only 22 it's only 22 degrees right now and uh, as you can see it's not even cloudy or anything there's no direct sunlight there's no reason for my gopro hero 9 black to overheat ah but that's another review anyways back to my elite outfitter solutions uh, titanium wallet uh, you could get these, uh, I believe you could get these in just aluminum or steel or I think, uh, I'm not sure if they are, if they're available in carbon fiber. Can't, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, I went all out with the, the titanium model. You could get them with or without the money clip. I opted for the money clip and like I said, I use this to, to latch onto my ass pocket. Um, I guess technically you can hold 20 plus cards. Now there are other t t titanium wallets available. I specifically wanted a titanium wallet. I used to carry one of those folding leather wallets and I did that since I was in my teens. I always had a folding leather wallet. Uh, I got sick of having this big chunk of cowhide in my, you know, on my ass pocket all the time. Uh, and over the course of the last couple of years, I've been going minimalist with a lot of things. And traveling minimalist is, is great because it allows me to enjoy my travels a whole lot more. Um, there's the Edge wallet from, you know, from another company called Edge. And uh, there are a couple other manufacturers. I did contact Edge before I purchased uh, Elite Outfitter Solutions, the titanium wallet here. I did contact the Edge wallet and I don't know if it was the owner or somebody there but I, I asked them because they said they could only hold a few cards, I can't remember how many. And I asked them, I said, is there a possibility of a, of a model that could hold even more cards? I mean, I, mean, I have, I have my, my driver's license, my social insurance uh, card, um, I have my BCAA card. Uh, I have all three of my credit cards, two of my, I have my one bank card, personal bank card, my business bank card. Um, yeah, I have all that in here, plus I have some cash. So I needed something that can hold some room and if 
it's not easy because all these all these uh, o-rings are new so the, the wallet is feeling re really really tight right now um, so the, it does expand but the edge wallet this the edge wallet that I was looking at prior to purchasing this uh, the, the person told me that it was actually kind of rude he said well if he said something to the effect that if I have that many cards, I'm not a minimalist, and I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be uh, ordering his wallet. I thought, what an asshole! You know, if if your product doesn't suit my needs, you could just say, no, we don't. We don't have a wallet that could hold as many cards as you need. But uh, yeah, needless to say, I, I wouldn't. Uh, just based on being an asshole, I wouldn't ever recommend Edge wallets, and I, I certainly uh, don't own one, and I never will. So my GoPro Hero 9 Black just shut off again because it's uh, apparently getting too hot. Uh, whatever. So I'm just going to cut this video rather short. Overall, like I said, $250 for a titanium wallet that's crossed the country with me, crossed uh, many countries with me actually. And uh, of course, over the course of you know, over the course of three years, yes, these O-rings have worn out, but to get uh, to get new O-rings. Uh, to get new O-rings and uh, the new uh, the new bolts was uh, thirty dollars from uh, Elite Outfitter Solutions. But again, you could purchase these at a hardware store. These little O-rings you could purchase them at a hardware store, and you do not need to replace these uh, these Torx nuts. And the tool to replace a Torx the Torx nut you could get that at any automotive store. Do I recommend this? Absolutely. Uh, it, it took me a little while to get used to at first because it seems it's it's very rigid it's you no know, having a, a leather folding wallet was soft but this isn't anywhere near as bulky and uh, with this belt clip I could I could fit it anywhere this money clip I use it as a belt clip and I fit it anywhere and uh, it's RFID blocking I mean, that might be a little bit of like the conspiracy theory kind of people who think that, oh yeah, somebody's going to walk beside me and steal all my money with some device. I mean, who knows what's going to happen in the future, maybe. But uh, for now, everything, everything's uh, been really great with, uh, with this EOS Titanium wallet. So yeah, I definitely recommend. If, this, uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything to do. If you have any questions, you could email me or you could uh, leave it in the comment section down below. If you do own one of these and you had some sort of experience, positive, negative, or even a different model from Elite Outfitter Solutions, uh, leave it in the comment section below too. Uh, if you have something else, maybe you have an Edge or whatever, one of those other manufacturers and you'd like to share uh, your experience, by all means, uh, post it on the comment section below as well. I don't edit any comments what you post is what you post and I'm just gonna leave it I, and I try my best to always respond to any of the comments some people will post some stupid comments like promo SM or whatever the hell that is I don't respond to rubbish like that but uh, anything relevant I'll uh, I'll gladly respond uh, until uh, the next uh, video I hope this helped you out take care